My name is Pam. I'm a 30-year-old working at a publishing company. The company I work at mainly sells educational materials for infants and school children. In today's world where the birth rate is declining, many parents strongly desire to provide a solid education environment for their children. So thankfully, our sales are doing well. I don't mean to brag right off the bat, but my sales performance has consistently been the best for five consecutive years. The customers I've been associated with bring in more and more customers for me. So to be honest, I don't have to do anything to get new ones. Of course, I will always be conscious of being polite, prompt, and sincere with the customers. I think that's why I've been able to develop new customers. There's nothing more fortunate than having a connection with people. Well, I think it's also the steady efforts I've made up until now. I provide teaching materials that meet my customers' needs by being considerate to them. I'm popular in the company, especially my juniors who say things like, I want to be like you and I look up to you. But there's only one person who really hates my guts. Goodness, the atmosphere here is so bad. Everyone, ventilate, now! I especially want the area around this seat to be cleaned thoroughly. What? Around this seat? Hey, it's totally my area. So? Do you have a problem? Look, it's so dirty around this area. Ugh! I specifically warned you a few times before to not get too cocky just because you've had some good results this month. Do you not remember? Wait, hold on. What do you mean by me being too cocky? I have no intention of being like that at all. Also, I do clean around my desk every day. Can't you see? This is my boss, Mr. Torres. Like this, he would always attack me whenever he saw me. But I know exactly why he does this. Until I joined the company, he held the top position in performance all along. However, as my business performance improved, he began to see signs of decline, and that's when he started to target me. I mean, I could tolerate being harassed, but... By the way, thank you for going out of your way to provide me with the Panic Collection teaching materials. My performance is going well because of it. Oh, um, I see, but uh, Mr. Torres, nothing good will come out if you keep on doing things like this. Who the hell cares? You have more than enough customers already. So I don't think I'll be punished whatsoever if I pass a few of them on to me. I mean, it does contribute to the company's sales, but are you satisfied with improving your performance by taking credit for my work? Do you think it's okay to do something unfair like this? Huh? Did you just say something to me? N no, I just thought that you don't need to do something like this since you were at the top in performance hands down before I came here. You have the ability, so I hope that you don't waste it. I've said it so many times, but don't talk back to me! All you need to do is just pass customers to me. Understood? Yes, as you all can see, he not only harasses me, but he's also a despicable person who steals my work and takes credit for it. He's always like this, actually. My heart has been in turmoil every day, unable to make sense of things, wondering if he lacks professional pride by taking credit for my work. And just when I felt that way, a huge business opportunity came up. Pam, I heard you're handling negotiations with that major company, Sakato Corp. Yeah, I am. Since I was asked to do this recently, I haven't even started with the presentation materials yet. Oh, oh my god, I am so happy for you. But that's not the only amazing thing, huh? Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Someone overheard a conversation among senior executives that if you succeed, you'll be promoted to section manager. A section manager? I haven't been told or heard anything about it. Oh, there's no need to be humble. This means that everyone thinks highly of your abilities. Be confident and do your best. You won't be harassed by Mr. Torres anymore. <laughs> True that. That's the only thing I want to avoid. Right, so do your best. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. I'll be happy to go grocery shopping or make a midnight snack for you. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for the support, Rachel. 
Having a big business meeting coming up, I worked hard every night until late, preparing the presentation and transaction documents. However, Mr. Torres did everything he could to disturb me. Even today, he keeps giving me resentful glances. Oh goodness, he's staring right at me. So uncomfortable. Everyone is supposed to leave work at the designated hour today. What's going on? Hey, Pam! How's everything going? Thanks so much for working hard until late every day. Oh, Mr. Torres, you're still staying here. Yeah, of course. Because I'm your boss, plus interested in the progress. That's it. <sighs> what? Interested in my progress? He never said anything like this in the past. All right. I forgot to tell you this. But I also was selected to be a member of this project. So as your boss, I strongly think that it's my duty to check on your progress. What? Seriously? You're selected too? Wait, wait, nobody told me that yesterday at the project team's meeting though. Well now you know, and it is what it is. Another thing, I'll be the one who's presenting it. So show me it as soon as you finish it, okay? But this is something I work so hard on! Shut up! Who do you think you owe for helping you get this far in your work? It's all thanks to me! If you decide to complain that much, I have no problem firing you. Those who complain, will get fired. Wow, this sucks. I've been working so hard up until now. Hold on, I wonder if he's trying to take the credit for my success again. According to one of the project members, Mr. Torres, who feared that I would become a section manager, immediately ran to the senior executive and seemed to plot to take over my presentation, aiming for a promotion. But that plan was poorly thought out, and it was obvious that he was trying to bring me down. So everyone around him looked at him coldly even more because they knew his usual bad habits started again towards me. Pam, I heard he's trying to take over and become the section manager. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, he is. I'm surprised by that also. <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is such a great opportunity! Are you okay with him taking credit for your work? Yeah, he has taken one or two of your customers, but this is something different. You should think about this. True that. But this time, he's a lot more aggressive than ever. I'm so overwhelmed every day that I can't even say anything back to him. I see. Here's an idea. If he's coming across like that, why don't you seek revenge from a different perspective? Mm, different perspective? Yep, I actually have a good idea. Lend me your ear for a sec. Hey, I love that! That plan will definitely be enough to put him in his place. Wait, it might even be more interesting if I change this part like this. Oh my god, I love that! <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> with the advice from Rachel, I came up with a brilliant way to stop him from stealing my work at all cost. He's been stealing my work and claiming it's all thanks to him. So, I guess it's fine for me to get back at him, right? And finally, the day of the presentation arrived. Payback time! I'll do this presentation perfectly, so watch me. Thanks for preparing everything for me. No problem. I'll be watching you, Mr. Torres. Then the client's top executives, including the CEO, convened in the conference room. Mr. Torres confidently handed over the documents I had prepared, and before the presentation began, he turned to me, having a sinister smile across his face, and did this weird thumbs up. Please, allow me to start with the presentation now. The theme will be fun and educational learning. This company's educational materials are not only for children to enjoy learning, but also for par- Sorry, may I interrupt you for a moment? Yes? What is this? Sorry to say, but your presentation doesn't seem worth listening to. What? Why is that? Yeah, it's not. I agree. Do you think this is okay? Oh, um... May I ask why you're all saying that? 
Aren't you ashamed of yourself for doing this? What? What's going on here? He's totally panicking. <laughs> he handed out the document I have prepared for another project. He didn't even check it beforehand. How hilarious! <laughs> Want to know what's inside? I expose all the work that he had been taking credit for, not only from me, but also from other employees. Also, some people are victims of this and cry, which bothers me so much. Above all, I feel very bad for customers who need to deal with someone this ridiculous from now on. So this is why everyone who saw this document is surprised and mad. He's the only one who doesn't know. He's looking so confused and sweating a lot. <laughs> then he approached me and started to blab quietly. Hey Pam! What the hell's going on here? You were the one who prepared this document, so take responsibility! You were the one who didn't check it first, see? This is what happens if you try to steal my project. What? Actually, I could do this presentation without anything. I could also answer questions. The hell? Excuse me? Well, I mean, you never even attended one meeting for this project. And yet, you thought you could do a presentation on that day? I can't believe you even have the nerve to do something like this. Damn it, what the hell? You set me up, didn't you? <laughs> you just realized? So, you're Paige, one of the members, right? You just said that you could do a presentation for this project without looking at the documents. So, if possible, could you give us one now? Of course. Hey, wait a minute! It's not what it looks like! She's the one who- What? Excuse me? Don't make it seem as if I did something wrong because I didn't. You should take a good look at the documents. They are all based on facts, so... After saying that, he started stomping his feet in frustration. When the CEO saw that, he turned around and said, I've had business meetings with Pam a few times before, and even jobs that didn't seem to bring in much profit, she completed them perfectly. Also, she was able to do presentations without looking at anything. You can't do that, even though you're her boss? Uh, about that. Don't tell me that you've been harassing her because you have some strange pride. No, oh, crap. You can leave. Bye. But no, please. Okay, I'll take over. Great. Please do. Thank you. As a company, we wanted to hear your presentation from the very beginning. No! You can start whenever you're ready. Thank you very much. I'm ready now. After that, I gave a presentation on the project I worked hard on. Both the CEO and the senior executives were impressed by it. When I returned to the office, Rachel was the first person to run over to me. Yes, you did it, Pam! Wow, this is something really amazing! Yeah, thank you! Your idea was also quite good, though. Oh, right? Oh, was he surprised that he almost passed out? Tell me about it. Oh my god, guess what? He was beyond surprised and got pissed! <laughs> but everything went well. <laughs> really? <laughs> Anyways, congrats, section manager. Hey, I haven't been told that I'm one yet, so it's too early for that. Oh, it's not too early. Everyone knows that already. Oh, and everyone is saying they're so glad Mr. Torres didn't become a section chief. <laughs> Afterward, the misdeeds that Mr. Torres had been committing all along became known to our CEO. Our CEO and Sakato's Corp CEO have been close friends for a long time, so of course the details of the meeting were also shared. Mr. Torres desperately apologized to him. It seems like he tried to blame me for everything that had happened until now. But he probably didn't imagine that it would add fuel to the fire and cause a bigger problem. He was immediately fired. Of course, he also was sued for causing huge damages to the company and is now drowning in debt. <laughs> oh, right. I was promoted to section manager as rumored now everyone calls me manager pam and relies on me 
My department has also become a very comfortable working environment. Even though I became a section chief, I want to continue being a boss who values my employees. <laughs> people will we get to see next? Stay tuned for more!